In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create dynamic charts here in Google Sheets. So I have my example data set right here where I have my students' names and their math test scores for each quarter. Now what I want to do is to have a chart right here that will represent the students' math test scores. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Let's get started. So first, what we're going to do is to create a drop down that will have all our students' names. So let's do that by going to insert right here, select drop down. You can do this with data as well. Select data validation. It will bring up the same panel on the right. Now we're going to select our criteria from drop down from a range. Select your range by going right here, then click on OK. And now we have all our students' names in our drop down. Click on Done. If we click on our drop down, here they are. Close that. Now we go to our students' grades. So, in order to extract each student's grade for each quarter, what we're going to use is the VLOOKUP function. So, let's say we're going to do Maria's grade. Start with our formula, put in your equal sign, type in VLOOKUP or select it right here. And here's our formula. So our search key is the student's name, comma. Our range would be the student's names until their last test score for the fourth quarter, comma. And for our index, which would be the number of the column you're extracting your information from. So the first quarter would be in our second column. We're starting from the student's column. One, two, first quarter, second column. So we're going to put in two, comma. And for the last one, is sorted will be false. Closing parentheses and press enter. And there is the score for the first quarter for the student Maria. Now we're going to do the same thing by copying this same formula right here and pasting it. And now what we're going to do is to change the index, which is what our suggested formula has already done. So our index for the first quarter would be two. Our index for the second quarter would be three. So let's accept that formula suggestion and here it is. Let me just format this and there we go. So you're going to do the same thing for the third quarter. That's for index four. Let's paste our formula, accept that suggestion, paste our formula. Now it's for index five, accept that suggestion. So let's format that again. So we have Maria's test scores right here, which are accurate. Now, if we select a different student, let's say Jackson, and it has correctly extracted the same scores for each quarter. Now it's time to add our chart. What we're going to do is to select the data that we want to be represented in our chart. Go to Winsert and select chart. And now we have a representation of our students' math test scores right here in this chart. You can customize this chart. You can remove the headers if you want, but these do represent each quarter and the test scores. We can make the name bigger at the bottom right here. Just click on it and the settings for it will appear on the right. Let's make it bigger, bolder, resize our chart and reposition it. So if I change the student's name right here in my dropdown, it will give us the test scores and chart corresponding to those scores. One more time. And there you have it. So that's how to create dynamic charts here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.